So. You may have seen Katie's last video about faking a relationship. Faking. We filmed it, and this is the result. It was really long, so it's in two parts. Enjoy! So guess where we are? Not inside! Sunlight! Fresh air! People! <laughs> Yeah, Katie called me up yesterday because she wants to go on a fake day. Yeah, it's so fake, they might end up married with kids by the <laughs> end of it. Well, they want us to, uh, I guess it's like a double date, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, we're double dating because Katie said it'd be less awkward or something. But we're going to make it so awkward. There we are. I even brought hand vibes for extra romantic events. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, and confetti. Honestly. I'm so committed, come on. Like, when are we gonna need confetti? Oh, it took you guys so long. Filming, seriously? <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. What the fuck, the man? Hell? Come on, do something adorable for the camera. Like what? I don't know. We're already walking next to each other. Oh, wow, so adorable. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, walk next to me for a bit. And they say romance is dead. Oh, oh, bye, bye, bye. Give me a hand. No, no, give me no, a hand. Do this. There we go. Do you want to get on around? Do it! No, I'll do it. Here we go. Come on, big small thing. Yeah. So, we're gonna go to Cockatoo Island, but the next ferry doesn't come for about half an hour. Oh, great planning, Peter. Well, oh, I yeah. didn't plan this. Yeah, exactly. No, right. I mean, it's all your fault. Whatever. I mean, how are we gonna kill half an hour? They're like Hogwarts. I, I love it. Why, why have I never been to the rocks before? You've never been to the rocks before? No, I feel like I'm on holiday. <laughs> We should come back sometime, when we're not chaperoning a pair of five-year-olds. You know we're older than you. And can hear you? Fine, just do something cute. Five-year-olds. Fine. Go up there. Why? Just do it, it'll be funny. Probably not. Do it. Alright, now come down. What? Come down the stairs, Kate. Don't call me Kate. Oh, just do it! You. You look great! Seriously? I'll have it back by 10, Mr. and Mr. Manola. I'll do it, George. All grown up. There, there, dear. There, there. Happy tears. Happy tears. Oh, there, let's film that. It's so photogenic. I, I love it. Our first home, Kate. Don't call me Kate. Why not? That's dying. So, what should I call you? Katie. It's literally the name of my vlog. Call me Katie. What? You have a vlog too? Wait, two? I have a vlog. <laughs> I'm sorry, you have a vlog? Yeah, Gleason made me one. What do you vlog about? Stuff. Didn't know you had one. Good. Didn't you know about mine from the George's Project? My vlog project? Oh, the documentary. It's more of a vlog now though. Wait, you, you guys have a vlog too? Yeah, it's a shared one. Nobody tells me anything. So what do you put on it? I don't know, random stuff like <laughs> that time you came and asked me out. Oh, you were filming this most recent one, <laughs> yeah. and you didn't tell me. No. And you put it on the internet. Yeah. Seriously. Yes. Well, you know that's probably illegal. Wow. Sorry. Wait, you could have at least asked me. Sorry. Their first argument. Oh, Will you, this you, be the end of their case. loving no. relationship? Let's uh, see. I could probably see you really successfully for that video. No, you wouldn't. Ah, uh, let me call you Kate. Let me call you Pete. No. Fine. How about I take 10% of the 300, half it's the moral boring. Content, you the rights to film, um, publish the video, and um, you don't call me Kate. Oh, and... Hello, I'm Jane Bundaberg. I came over in the first fleet and now I cook and clean while my convict husband is working. This is my kitchen. I've never been anywhere else in the house for I am a woman and the kitchen is my domain. I tried to build walls, but I am a weak lady with a weak lady brain. Thus, I do not know how walls work. Oh, and there is my husband, my lord and master, he who must be obeyed, back from his convict barracks. Uh, hi. I made you dinner, for that is what women love to do. You know I failed you to drama. Yes, I remember it clearly. I laughed so hard I nearly forgot I was bowed down by the arbitrary rules of the patriarchy. Okay, Katie, you've got to stop that. I am an actor, Peter. I take every opportunity. No, I mean this patriarchy thing. Uh, I'm sorry, this patriarchy thing. You mean the biggest problem in the modern world? Oh, 
And the ancient world, actually. Says who? Says women. Says everybody. Not me. That's because you benefit from it. Slave owners never complain about slavery. Murderers never complain about murder. So I'm a homicidal slave owner, am I? It's a metaphor. You can't see something because you haven't been oppressed by it for centuries, millennia. Yeah, but you make up these pretty offensive metaphors that don't prove anything and just seems to pull patriarchy out of your ass whenever you get the chance. I don't pull it out of my ass. Women are worse off than men. You can't argue with facts. Yeah, but it's the way you say them, Kate. Uh, Katie. Like, I'm personally responsible oh. for slavery and murder and, and the wage gap. Well, obviously you're not, but you act like just because you're not responsible, it means they don't exist. Oh, okay, that's not the point that no, I'm trying so to make. it so is. Okay, you know what really pisses oh, me off? I once asked you what trans misogyny was, and all you said was, oh, if you don't know, I'm not going to explain it to you. Like, how is that my fault? Well, everyone knows what trans misogyny is. No, they don't! And I wanted to know, but you're just so superior. So now, I don't care. Oh, superior? Have you ever listened to yourself argue? Social justice and civil rights get set back centuries every time you open your mouth. Oh my god, you know the world isn't divided into people who agree with you and literal scum of oh, the earth. ditto Peter. Come White privilege isn't real, catcalling oh, fine. Okay, so, first Alright, alright! We have a job to do, just, just take a deep breath. Maybe two. We're not finished. No, but how about you spend five hours solving the problems of the modern world when we're not pressed for time? Yeah, and when we don't have to hang around and listen to it. Yeah. Fine, let's take some selfies or whatever. Okay, good. Come on, let's get through this. Oh, beautiful. Peter? Yeah? You nearly? That's nice. There. There's your photo. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Fuck. Right. Hey, Peter. Where are we going now? Uh, we're going to my favourite place in the whole world. Is it really? Well, I've had nearly half my birthdays there. Oh, uh, we're going to Cockatoo Island. If you could choose between Cockatoo Island and, say, Rome, which would you choose? Uh, would it be ancient Rome? No. Well, then Cockatoo Island. So on date number two, hence the change of clothes. Actually, I want to tell you how clever I am. My mum thinks I took this shirt to Vinnie's. Well, well, I did, but I went this morning and brought it back. So now she thinks these photos were taken a month ago. It smells weird. Oh, oh, it does actually. Like old people. I don't think I want to be a boyfriend anymore. And here we see Peter Glover's secret lover. Oh, that's almost a poem. Katie, I have something important to tell you. Is it that you're leaving me for an island? Yes. That's it. I'm going to throw myself into the ocean. Goodbye, cruel world. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. Say it again. I'm filming now. I'd just like everyone to know about my traumatic experience. Wait. Do you want me to do a dramatic zoom? Yes, please. Oh, sweet. Are you ready? Yep. All right. <laughs> it was the summer of 2013, and George Gleason was on an excursion with the rest of his geography class. He had a ham sandwich for lunch with mayonnaise and cheese. It was delicious. <laughs> Little did he know, it was also a sandwich of death. Because <gasps> all the ingredients were perishable and it was a hot day. Long story short, he threw up at this exact spot in front of all his classmates and his best friend. That's you. I know. So it's very brave of me to be here, third wheeling Katie and Peter, at the scene of my past embarrassment. Would you like an award? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Hold on a sec. What are you doing? Romance. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> are these pan pies? What? Real mature man. You're literally playing Celine Dion right now, aren't you? Oh my you're, God. you're a joke. No, that's ridiculous. Oh, come on, it's Titanic! So, that's the end of part one. In case you were wondering, no, the fairy did not crash into an iceberg and sink. But a lot of other exciting stuff did happen, so keep an eye out in the next couple of days for the second part of the fakest date ever.